Hello and welcome back to the stream where today we are going to be playing Genshin Impact. Now last time we left off, I believe we were doing some smaller quests and the event, but we did get new Valette last stream which I am very excited about. The only thing that I'm not excited about is that I have to farm that new, um, this new millennial seahorse. And I find it pretty hard to fight, so that's going to be extremely exciting. Now, I did say last stream that I was going to do the rest of, or do what I could for this challenge. Which, honestly, isn't that much of a challenge, since just collecting jellyfish, which are so cute. But, uh, we're actually going to get to the first part of the new Archon quest which updated with 4.1, so I'm very excited for that. Give me this. Alright, where are the other jellyfish? There's one, two... Is that all I need? No, I need one more. I like that there's not a time limit in this either. Not that that would matter too much. Why is there two of them? Is there just like always an there's three of them. Do they respawn? I only need one more. I'm confused. Alright. Guess I'll collect that. It makes sense if there was a couple extras, but I'm not sure about three extra. Or two extra, technically. Um... <clears throat> No, I can't get to this until, well, for eight hours. And then this one, I'm assuming I would get along with tomorrow as well, which I assume we'd be doing, I'd be doing this off stream, uh, since I don't stream Genshin the rest of the week, and this event is gone in five days. So that's that. But... Now we get to return to Spina di Rosula's base in the Court of Fontaine. Don't know why, but uh, we have some things to figure out with Child because he did say that, um, or Nouvellet said that he would try to figure out what was going on with the whole Oratrice thing. Yeah. The oratory said that Child was guilty, he was mad, almost fought, but didn't because Nouvellet defeated him. Very easily, by the way, which is insanely cool. Um, <clears throat> and then he just said to his unconscious body that he would uh, help him figure out what was going on. Because Nouvellet personally believed, he believed Child was innocent. Don't know why. I mean, he almost tried to down a nation, so I understand why he's not innocent, but I don't understand yes, how the aura trace works. What are we doing now? Now that the cereal disappeared, we did solve that too. No one's going to come after us for anything. It's debatable. Gun, we can just completely relax. Uh, okay, so Paimon is the one that jinxes us. Even machines and Fontaine need to stop and recharge now and then. Uh, can we pick somewhere with a decent view? Oh, come on. This place isn't that bad. Besides, how often do we get to stay in an actual base? Uh, see, I love the interaction. I love how much... They've changed the Archon quest from Mondstadt to now. It is so cool! The truth, Paimon. Oh, fine, fine. Do you want food? Remember that detective story Paimon read before? Well, the author is about to release a new book. Of so course. As soon as it came out and have a quiet place to read it. <laughs> That's adorable! I mean, I like books, but I like audiobooks more because I have astigmatism. But that's just me personally. I mean, I do technically have reading glasses that I lost. Um, but I never wear th wore them anyways when, you know, they weren't lost. So, don't know where they are. They just disappeared off the face of the earth, I guess. Just don't spoil the- Yeah, no one likes to spoil sport. 
said it's agreed. Come on, let's get some sleep. We'll need to be up first thing Especially if it's a murder mystery, happy. because I like fantasy books the most, but murder mystery is the probably the second best. Aside from romance books, of course. <clears throat> Paimon didn't expect that style at all. Even though it's a detective novel, it's also like a social documentary. Oh, it's actually pretty good. That's cool that it's like that because there are Netflix things as well that are similar. Where it's like a documentary, murder mystery, detective type thing things but sometimes they can be true crimes as well i don't know i find that kind of thing interesting to watch i don't know why it's super weird but um i love paimon and lumine's relationship too they're like sisters it's adorable Okay, Excuse I'm me. a slow reader too, Did though. You know the traveler and Paimon are lodging here. We are them. Huh? Who are you? Paimon doesn't recall seeing you before. Wait, you're not here to give us trouble, are you? Are you a messenger lady? A blonde traveler <coughs> and a chatty little fairy. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like I found the place. Good thing I asked. Glad I got the blonde before. traveler. They sent me the right way. Instead of <laughs> annoying little fairy. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. It's an honor to meet you both. I was sent from the Palais Mermania. Oh, Monsieur Nurilat wishes to see you. <gasps> oh! It seems he has something important to discuss in person. Yay! Nurilat? Of course! He wants to see us again already? Huh. We talked so much the last time we met. Has something happened since then? I am not privy to the details. It would you be are a messenger if you lady, to then. Palais Mermonia and ask Monsieur Nurilat in person. France things! <laughs> Has a bad feeling about this. I don't know. I really, 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 really like new ones. I am never gonna complain about going to see him in the story. He's so cool, and he—he's like the king of the Melusine too. That's even cooler because I believe that. Okay, the dog just took my spot, and I'm not even mad. Um. I should probably teleport now, because sometimes it can take long to teleport. Sometimes it can be extremely quick to teleport. Depends on. But, I believe since the Melusine knew Nouvellet, and Nouvellet seems to protect the Melusine, because he said no harm should come to them, which is so cute. Um, I believe that he's like... A more ancient Melusine, maybe? Maybe he's like a much, much, much older Melusine. Either that, or he's just like a Melusine with. He's a Melusine with a human form. It's something regarding the Melusine. Which is adorable. That big, tough looking dude regarding to protecting and caring for all of the Melusine who are just like little sea creatures. I love him so much. Nouvellet, what do you want? <laughs> I mean, not that I'm complaining, but is this your office? This isn't your office. Is this your office? <laughs> yes, this is his office. Okay. Nouvellet, you even get the cool big office too! I wonder if I could come in here without, like, the Archon quest. Because I wanted to wish here before. I did get him. Still, but... Why were you just standing there? He's so cool! Even when he's just standing and staring! I did send someone to fetch him. But as for what I'd like to discuss next... Well, I still have some reservations. Given that we've already made the just trip here, thought you process? You need it to help you with something, right? <laughs> oh, I you love the cat face! Something I'd like to ask you to do, however, you should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourself. Yeah, you we're going to the prison of Meripede. The situation er is this. What was it called? The Fortress of Meripede. It has come to my attention that the Snezhnaian Harbinger known Freedom. as the Knave wants a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? 
Uh oh. I heard that she was originally from. Fire. Wait. But for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this. Okay, so it's not entirely surprising that the knave Arlecchino is originally from Fontaine, considering Signora was originally from Mondstadt, and I believe that was the first place that she went to. She didn't go to any other nation before Font or before Mondstadt, but. The suspicious thing is, is that in the trailer, we heard Farina, like, crying for help as if our Latina was threatening her life. So, I'm wondering if Nouvellet is, like, the more truer Archon than Farina. And, like, what kind of power Farina has? Because the prophecy is, like, uh, she'd be left on her throne to cry alone while her people would be dissolved. Which is super sad, but, like, would she be powerless to do nothing about it, even though she's literally an Archon? I don't understand that. And the fact that our Latino could be threatening her life is something else too. I don't know what's going on. I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Hmm. Yeah, you, your life could be threatened. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. We convicted no one kidding. of the Snezhnayan harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. As they always do. I believe do. we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. Oh yeah, sorry, our machine just stopped working and said your guy was guilty. Yeah, we kind of need to arrest him for the time being. No, we shouldn't. I think we should- I don't think we should, Farina! Oh? Farina, no! Well, uh, you see, we are the ones- She- even here, she seems solution. different! If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? See, here she seems like an overthinker, less confident. I'm so confused with Farina's personality. What is her personality? Because sometimes she's, like, super confident, sometimes she's, like, super shy. It's like- like a fight between two friends if they don't agree to see you're each not other friends with the fatui isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely okay but i feel like nuvalet has some power he may not be the actual archon but i feel like he's like maybe that's the reason maybe the hydro archon has something to do with the melusine which would make sense so, in turn, it would have something to do with Nouvellet as well. Because I was originally thinking, before my thought process, that um, Nouvellet was like an adult Melusine. Uh, or like a bigger human form Melusine. I don't know. Um, my original thought process was that he had some correlation to Farina, not just as co-workers. Um, now, I believe that still holds true if... Where's Farina's vision, actually? Does she not wear fake vision? Like the other Archons do? Because the other Archons don't need the visions. Quote-unquote visions. Um, but they still wear them anyways around their people, because why not? Um, maybe she, like, doesn't need to wield a vision then. I don't know. But it would make sense if the Melusine were somehow connected with the Hydro Archon considering Farina wouldn't be among the original seven either because the original seven, the only two left of the original seven Archons were Venti and Zhongli. Zhongli. I don't know why I almost said it like that. Bendy and Zhang Li. Because A had Makoto. Um, Makoto was the original Ryan Shogun. 
Um, Greater Lord Rukavada was the original Archon of Subaru. I don't know about here. Though Strange. diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends. Exactly. In your example. It was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, we don't have sufficient information prepared. It is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. Ooh. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. <clears throat> even if the logic of the divine uh, maybe is not you should go, Nuvlad. Actually, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems huh? do he pop will be up, you'll have no problem navigating them. Um. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. So long as they're not too dry, because apparently he despises outside, and he despises dry things, which is hilarious. But more importantly, when did I agree to join the meeting with you? Nublet, please! Uh, you mean you won't come? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I like how she goes from do. side to end in front of him. Alone, you have to accompany me. <laughs> Oh, okay. I love that so much. Frida basically acts like a little sister to Nuvalet. That is so cute. Lady Farina, could there be something else oh. regarding this matter that is being kept from me? Is no, there? Not at all. Oh. Look, I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Fosalor. Fosalor, the god okay. of justice who is loved and adored by many. <laughs> So I only hope that justice will She's playing a part matter. though, I think. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. <sighs> I think she was nervous that Nubla wouldn't be there though. Lady Farina insisted upon arrives. Uh oh. Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary oh. tea party. This is not an ordinary tea party. I assume you see huh? it the same way, Miss Farina. Oh my god! Okay, so that's cool. And creepy too! Why are her pupils exes? I don't like her! Because she's creepy and all. I mean, even child himself. All the Victorian Harbingers! Have been up to something and have killed someone. Mm. Lady Farina. Mm. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just I do like how Arlecchino looks, though. I should thank you for providing the pastries. They Don't are eat them. Delectable. Don't eat them. They could be poison. I think they're poison. They're they're probably poison. I'm gonna be honest, but. Our Latino is actually the master of... Was it called the wreath or something? It's something similar to calling it the wreath. But, uh, part of its Fatui group. And I believe she's like the master of the house. And apparently all... Personal theory, apparently all... The children she adopts are like... Like, her children, almost? Because, I don't know if... Fremine actually has biological ties to, uh, Linny and Lynette. To make this tea party even more lively... I do want those macarons, though. someone else to join us today. You invited! It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in cool, though. Naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Udex to me. What is a Come Udex? On. The pleasure is also mine. He called himself a Udex as well. Udex is a Latin word that means judge. Oh, you know, that actually makes sense.
Roman law, a eudex was a person appointed to magistrate and hear and decide a case. Yeah, that actually makes sense that that means judge. He literally is the chief justice. He is the judge. First, I would like to thank the two of you. Okay. I'm often away on business. I love the anonymity around her, but she is so cool too. Been well taken care of by you. Hearth. That's what it's called, not wreath. House of the Hearth. I mean, two of your children almost went to jail for something they didn't do. Don't answer that, Farina. Oh, I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused <laughs> by you. Please don't misunderstand. The children okay. of the House of the Hearth are but... often misunderstood. Perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. Okay, so she talks, like, really softly, but you can almost, like, sense a craziness behind her voice. Because, I mean, that makes sense, sure. But in the Harbinger's video that we watched a while ago, before 4.0, I believe, like, just before, I think, um, the Harbinger video... She was, like, really, really threatening. And in the trailer, she was really threatening, and then she, like, snapped her finger, and then, um, her eyes glue, and it all went to black. I don't know, she's really creepy, but she's really cool at the same time. Nublin is just cool. Farina's just cool, I guess. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. Is that a bad thing for you? Well and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. Yeah, and I feel like you're gonna do a child and try to drown a nation. That is something truly worth cherishing. And no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Mm, except the Patui! You have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nuvillette doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries. No. And hopes that we can get straight the to the The slow point. look, though! Okay! Yes. As you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. So... There's so many just, like, finite details, whether it be just, like, the slow look of a person's eye in the Archon Quest, and I love it so much! As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya... Also, this is a memory. Avengers, ...child and I have always been colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. Makes sense. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already oh. been rendered, we see the case as settled. She's too late! I apologize for being unable to grant your request. Oh, an outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's okay, quest, just buddy. as I respect she, you as Chief she's Justice. She's getting back to King Farina somehow. I don't know how, but it sounded like Farina was being threatened in the video. And then... <laughs> There was Linny, I think, that said, where are my siblings to the real guy? I don't know how to say his name. Okay, why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer child to us. Ooh. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see child and confirm his condition. Oh, is that what we're investigating, Nuvalet? It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina. Oh, you're pulling their legs. That's actually smart. The it's... fortress of Meropede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there, and diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. Okay. So that's what I was thinking before. The spikes on the vision are actually um 
spikes on the vision or actually the visions where you got the vision from Shnejnaya. That makes sense. I was thinking that last stream when I was looking over those watches, but I wasn't sure. Um, because from each nation, there's like, uh, there will be a certain vision. And each vision always is a circle. But there will be like something around it saying what nation you got it from. So those spikes basically mean Shnejnaya. However, Makes sense. if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal. Oh. Uh, can you tell me what that Lenny is? showed up already? Well, Linny did say that father will be returning Why soon. is she referred to as father, though? We didn't even know that Linny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of overlooked that information. Yeah, the name won't be easy to deal with. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. I also noticed that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the Knave. Could the Knave be threatening Lady Farina or something? If that were the How case, though? why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the Knave possibly have to twist the arm of an Archon? Okay, she seems like a weak Archon, though. I love Farina and all, but... Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's still an Archon. Is she, though? In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. Wait, where's the Lutz vision, the actually? Merapid, child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Wait. Oh, that's why you couldn't send him! Send send her to the fortress of Meripede. Did he escape? I I don't think he would escape. He's not from Fontaine, so he can't dissolve either. I don't think he could escape if it was the legendary fortress of Meripede as it's hailed as. The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape. But there have also been no reports of him outside of the fortress of Meripede. Special so you want me to go and investigate that? That's what the trailer was about. Its are extensive. Combine with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape yeah, well, should not be vision? possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child. And it is my duty to see justice done. So this is what you wanted to see us about before. We're gonna sneak yes. in and investigate some stuff. I would like you stuff. to go to the Fortress of Meripede and investigate Child's disappearance. This was my proposal during okay, our Nubla, meeting with your, the Okay, where's your vision, though? Rather than allowing her to intervene, is it in your I hair offered tie? to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. The Knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, we will talk more once we have that report. So that means we bought ourselves some time. Wouldn't it be more convenient to have an official from Fontaine do this? Yeah, we're Firstly, not an official. you're already acquainted with Child. Your I mean, eyes may discern sense. relevant details there that others would miss. And secondly, is the consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. That it's underwater? Is it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. <laughs> the Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. Entity? Early in Fontaine's what does that history, mean? criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Even today, sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. So is there, like, guards at the end? Of Fontaine, then? How does that exile work exactly? Because they could, like, try to sneak back in, I guess. I mean, not that it would work, because it would be shown that they were exiled, so they'd be kind of, like, wanted, almost? I don't know. The Fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should, in fact, be regarded you as still a the place food! for exiles. All we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security, but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, 
Neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Because you're the court, they're the prison. That's why you need us to conduct our own investigation as a third party, right? Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so yeah, that you may how do I investigate that place? The fortress during your detention. I mean, I know how to get this out. It's actually pretty easy. Trouble. If it weren't for that so, one lady, actually. Are you too willing to accept my proposal? But how could Child even escape? He doesn't have his vision. Well... Okay, both of these men. <laughs> He's in a tough spot, and Child is our friend. Mm. I mean, you're always busy with work, so I guess this is not really much new to you, but it is. Yeah, no matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. Alright, we hereby accept this difficult task. Uh, reluctantly. Child, what did you do? <laughs> You two have my sincere thanks. This matter he is did something importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. Yeah, Paimon. We'll rendezvous at the Fortress of Meropede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared Wait, yourselves. where's Nuvolet's vision? To take you inside. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? Yeah, we kind of need to investigate Perhaps the Fortress of Meropede. and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside the fortress are nothing like those on the outside world. Oh, right! Even though we'll be there on trumped-up charges, we'll be in prison for real. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I, was, I knew she was gonna say that. We've already agreed, Paimon. Just accept it. Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both... Your We're sacrificing and ourselves! ...for the sake of delivering this report... You will be compensated according Ooh. to the highest standards permitted to legal staff. Ooh, highest standards! Of outcome. <gasps> now that's more like yeah, I was about to say! My treat, of course. Are you leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal gratitude. Is it poison? Does it have the primordial water in it? Did I actually get the cake? I didn't get the cake. Where's my cake? It didn't give me my cake! <gasps> oh man. I only win some cake. You didn't give me the cake. Okay, wait. Is it? No, it's not under your hair. Okay, so maybe. Maybe as like an adult. Melusine. I'm just gonna call him the adult Melusine. As an adult Melusine, maybe he could just like automatically wield the power of water? No, he doesn't have a vision. Maybe he could just like automatically wield the power of water because he's like a more powerful Melusine. <laughs> you are so cool, my guy, but you are so tall. Uh, maybe he has like the power of water because he's like a more powerful Melusine. No, it's not under your tie either. Um, because maybe like the Melusine have um have like similar powers to the Archon basically. Where they'll have hydro powers. I don't know. This is just a personal theory because I honestly don't know who Nouvellet is. Oh, no need to thank me for it. Just be sure to enjoy it. Why do you say it like that? I didn't get my cake! I want my cake! Why didn't it give me my cake? That dude seems stressed out, but we don't care for now. Let's go to the cafe. I might actually need to buy some recipes there. I don't know if there are recipes there, but I'm gonna see. I also need to buy more Fanta, because I keep forgetting to buy that as well. Because I want to accumulate as much Fanta as I can, because why not? It's Fanta. Are you kidding me? It's a ripoff of Fanta, and Fanta is amazing. Although, in my opinion, it's not better than root beer. Root beer is the best. Alright, I'm actually going to go in the cafe. Thank you very much. 
No, I'm thinking that one black-haired wolf guy is actually a warden, though. Where's... Oh! <laughs> can, can you give me a cake? Nouvellet gave me a cake, but he didn't give me a cake. I want the cake. Oh, okay, so all of you guys sell Fantas. <laughs> you don't sell... I want my cake. I'm disappointed. Can I cook? <gasps> I can cook out of this. Cool. I don't think that's really practical when you're trying to run a cafe, but sure. You do you. Did I get the recipe for the cake? I didn't get the recipe for the cake. Wait, is this the cake? That's crepes, so that's basically like a thin pancake. I mean, I guess that's close enough. Where's my cake? Oh, the cake is a lie again for the third time. Oh, no, Fanta! Thank you. No, Fanta! How dare you! Did you just f finish eating the cake that Nublake gave us? <gasps> Wait, you ate it? Paimon! That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we're about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. Yeah, she's like a black hole when it comes to food. Even though she is extremely tiny. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've always been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine. Just to avoid breaking any strange Okay, lines. wait. But wasn't there, like, this creepy guy that was watching us? Um. Like, right before we entered Fontaine, when we were in Sumeru, wasn't there this creepy guy that was watching us? I feel like there was, because I think he was, like, a blonde guy. I don't know. I'm suspicious. Does he have a part to play in this or was the camera just zooming in on him for no reason but here we are about to willingly send ourselves off to the fortress of Merokeed. Hmm, maybe this is what they call fate <laughs> <sighs> let's just try our best to investigate everything quickly once we get there paimon doesn't want to stay in prison too long is this gonna be on my record whoa what the what is oh, that? Oh, hi! Is it you again! Breaking story? Hey! Breaking this story? A case. Okay, so I she was in an event, it. apparently, that I missed out on. But she's basically like a newsletter lady. Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat I wonder here. if she's going to be a playable get character. Great material out of him. But he didn't even show up. Is Charlotte going to be a playable character? Genshin Impact posted the Charlotte announcement on their official accounts announcing her as a playable character for Genshin Impact 4.2. Okay, now Farina is either the second... Okay, no, I think Farina is in 4.2. Because I see her uh, banner. Okay, that's really cool. So Farina will be a playable character too. Ah, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. As long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to from me. The cost of the meal. Uh, We're not telling you a thing. Can still hear you, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's nothing. I just heard you. Oh, you have a cryo vision. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. Uh, no, we're just going there to um, don't. Uh, um, to oh no, I almost forgot that Nevelet told us. Of to course you it. did. You just need to stop talking around other people. We're going to serve our sentences and redeem ourselves. We're spoiling the ending of a detective novel in public. Huh? 
you're being arrested for that? Y oh. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. What? That's pretty despicable. Okay, Almost it is despicable to be fair. Okay, I w I would say Why it's as this something that serious? I would say it's as despicable as theft per se, but sure, go willy nilly. You didn't even think of any. You didn't even think anything of it at the time. Sorry, Paimon really messed up. <laughs> In that case, as if it's an actual crime. Newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. Oh, right. There's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Meripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? No. Um, about that, uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have any time. Yeah, because we're investigating uh, something else. Difficult? All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the warden of the fortress. Okay, so that one guy is the he warden, was isn't he? The honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? Duke. Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. On top of that, the fortress of Meripede I mean, it sounds like a name for a dog, and he does look like a wolf. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him. Okay, I'd so he must be the guy papers. then. You make it sound Black easy, guy. but it really depends. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. Yeah. All right, you got a deal. We'll do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> then it's settled. Pie, but it's not even you your mora. Second, right? Huh? Wait. Just how much did you order? Yeah, you might have... Yeah. You're doing it for the news article. Can't go back on your word now. Oh, Paimon Kobu. Well, guess we have nothing to regret now, so let's get going. <laughs> uh, nothing to regret wait, so we can go to prison. Paimon just said something really ominous, didn't she? Yeah, you did. There's Charlotte and Chevrolet. That's weird. That didn't go according to plan. Yeah, because if it did, you Please wouldn't be buying our food. Material for my news article. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like we're going to be learning, learning about this warden, whether we like it or not. Why are we going to the opera Epicles? Yeah. Wait, Epicles? Epicles, I think. At first, I thought it was like Eclipse. That wouldn't make sense. Opera Eclipse. I mean, that would be like a cool name for it, but Opera Epicles. Not that I know what that means. Alright, I guess we're being detained and we're going to jail. Now, how are we going to investigate child somehow going missing? Thought I could get those birds with Kaza. I mean, I did go to Paris. Like, 2018, I think. That's pretty cool. Is it inside? It's not inside. Is it? It's probably not inside. Nope. Knew that. Slimes. Minimal intelligence made from condensed elements, I guess. <sighs> Alright then. What's over here? Is this how I get taken to the Fortress of Meripede? Because the Fortress of Meripede is all... The way over here. <sighs> oh, it's majestic, even. What, are you gonna throw me into the waters and say, Hey, go to the Fortress of Meripede? Or am I gonna be taken off by the guards? Man, I like this new play. Can I go back? I don't wanna go to prison. I'm a good person to come, just as promised. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Ooh. Careful. You may want to step back a bit. Oh. oh. So you have to go Ooh, down here? Cool. Is the prison underwater? Yeah, it is. Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of I mean, Meripede is I don't is have a fear of it because apparently I can breathe water like a guppy. Criminals. But do not worry. 
is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. Oh, see yeah. For yourselves once you are down there. It's uh, terrifying. Paimon hopes you're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gets Paimon the heebie-jeebies. I mean, we've oh, been to the bottom of the sea before. I mentioned or that least I, I have personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Ridesley. Ridesley! Shrewd fellow. So he's the administrator, or Duke, right? he's the administrator and the warden. Correct. He is okay. the highest-ranking manager of the underwater. Prison. Oh yippee! Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. Oh yippee! No, in the trailer, I can't stop thinking about this. In the trailer, it did say that, um. What was it? Lenny, I think it was Lenny, did, uh, was like screaming almost to Risley, where are my siblings, Risley? As if Risley was somehow correlating to Lynette and Fremine being taken. And maybe Risley somehow is working with Arlecchino, and for some reason, he is the reason Child got out of prison, and maybe this is a trap set by Arlecchino, so we're going in to here blind, because this is a trap. I'm screwed. The Duke rarely ever leaves the Fortress of Meripede. Okay, but Risley is cool. That does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the Fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware. So please bear that in mind. He looks like a wolf and he punches with coldness. That does not look like Risley. That does not look like Risley. So keep that in mind. All right. That's about all the time. Can you tell me what he looks like? Me. I mean, I know what he looks me. like, but can you tell me Don't lore worry. speaking what he looks like? Down. Good. He looks like a wolf. <clears throat> Madeline. I like the name Madeline. I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest Why convicts. Why do you I say it like that? <laughs> Don't worry, they won't escape on my watch. Convicts. <laughs> like we would try. <laughs> Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the fortress of America. Paperwork. Me. <laughs> okay, so it ends with this. You could pause current quest. Or continue the current quest. And if you continue the current quest, you will not be able to do certain quests down here. Which I like. Th I do like that it says what quests would be paused. More quests could be paused. They would be beneath this one. Um, I'm going to continue with the Archon quest, obviously. But I like that it says that... Although, I still don't like that it's still kind of finicky. Like, you have to do this quest before that quest, or that quest before this quest. Something like that. It's still a little finicky, but it's still cool nonetheless that you can suspend quests and continue other quests. I'm gonna continue this one. Right the left and enters the forest. Fortress of Merope. Wait, what did that say? A tea party more, most thorny. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Ride the lip. Stop climbing. Ooh, can I? Aw, oh, man. I know how these work. Alright, oh, am I going in alone? Oh, this is glowy stuff. Why is my camera shifting? I am we not moving my it? camera. Huh. So this is what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. And what are the glass of this musty and dusty? Well. It's rare to see convicts. It's disgusting. Good mood. Because we're not convicts. Okay, what do you think we did, Madeline? What do you think we did? Okay, so you can enter from all sides. Did 
Your suits look cool. I mean, they're plain, but cool. This is different compared to the other lady that held us up before with that one world quest. You might be the same lady, but this looks like a different reception desk. Why they make you make the trip down here today? Monsieur Nervalet personally Monsieur requested I these two convicts. As she says. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. Ha. Huh. Well, now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. Oh, the you jealous? See every day are the new inmates. Well, have you lucky tried you. service with a smile? Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. Yeah, look in a mirror. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? No kidding. And even if I did smile at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. Yeah. Oh, she's got that's a point. Un yeah, that's understandable, to be fair. Well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here and Marette I don't like paperwork. I didn't even do the crime. Yep. I'll take it from here. Whatever the crime actually was. Sunny world above. Unless our crime actually was Nubla did say was. Okay, let me see. Uh, you are the traveler reading, in Paimon, correct? Reading spoilers for a book aloud. I don't know. That's right. That would be us. Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You two are charged with eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon. Oh my god, Nuvolet! The Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief <laughs> sentence. 45 days? Nuvolet! Oh my god, he did not! Huh? <laughs> Wait, you mean the cake that Nuvolet gave us? Something was gonna be up, Just but I didn't the suspect charges, the cake itself. It seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. Eating a cake. <laughs> okay, if eating a cake is serious trouble, I don't know. I don't want to know what actual serious trouble is in the Fontaine because this is child's play. Nouvellet, you did not need to do as dirty like that. And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets. This crime is Oh, it was free as of course it was. Herself. You flatter us. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish processing you before you can enter the fortress of Meripede. Why? I have to take my mugshot. <laughs> mugshots with my camera. She sounds so oh, bored. Right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. <laughs> What is your good side? What does that even mean, your good side? Is that like your front? I literally have to take her fuck shot! How tall is she? She's two and four circles tall. Paimon is... I don't know what Paimon is because she floats. The fuck shots! <laughs> this is hilarious. It's actual mug shots, like in the trailer. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Why Next does he look like a farmer, though? The fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. You couldn't what? sound more excited. Isn't that a little much? We're only gonna be here for forty-five days. I mean, that's still a little over you two a month. Are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Oh, okay. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Lumine. Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. Okay, thank you. Then, sure. Ooh. We get to ride a boat in, in the water. Inside of the water. That, that makes total sense. You're not scared, I'm just gonna, like, jump off. Am I going to a readjustment class, even though I'll only be here for 45 days? Not even that? 
Poor Lumian, though, because she gets put through so much. And honestly, before, she was just looking for her brother, and then we get entangled with other stuff. Thanks, child. Is there anything we should be careful of while we're here? Other prisoners? You're really not going to talk to us. Uh, did Paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to? Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? Why were you sent to bring us in? <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand new fish. New fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Coupons? What? Credit coupons? You gave expired coupons and that's illegal? Right. Seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. Oh, I'm not a It'll cost you some coupons. What? Mora means nothing. Wait, you mean the Here, food coupons? Use credit coupons. Coupons really? can give you almost anything in the fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. Uh-huh. So credit coupons. I actually are need to see what my fate is today, because I think my fate last time was pretty atrocious. It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said. Everyone gets a chance at rebirth. Rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside I the fortress of I ate a cake. You have to start over and earn your coupons. And no, I didn't Everyone even eat the cake. Paimon did. Place, and you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. Less terrible. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. Oh. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world even after they've served their sentence they're they're Ooh, allowed to stay in here that's what the fortress of Maripede is like huh Paimo was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison it is a it prison ain't all sunshine and roses here but it's also not the worst place to be the saying is sunshine and you rainbows better take a good look at the scenery now it'll be the last chance Although you I get guess the rainbow while. rose is a after thing after being here. away from the sunlight for Ooh. so long even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive, you know? That's oh, almost I'm depressing an in the blue light. Like you two. What? Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra coupons. What are you in here for? Hmm, I want to ask both, but I should be wary of the duke. Oh, wait a minute, why is there silence? Oh, I'm suspicious. I've told you enough for That's free. That's suspicious. Any more info is gonna cost you. Of course. I'm sorry, Wait, I only have one coupon. Because I can't no. collect more than what? one. Almost this there. Gardamac. Gardamac dogs. Or Your cats. turn to give it a try. Oh. Huh? What? Did that just say visitor to the aquarium? <gasps> okay, did it just give me the... Teleport waypoint? I th oh, it did! So there are new ar areas that I'm going into. <gasps> Wait, that makes sense! Why it's called... Why there's wolf heads there! Oh, no. I'm actually gonna me be meeting Risley, or whatever his name was. Okay, thanks for the intense music. I appreciate that. Ooh, Kazuha AR8. That's nice. I like that I could collect that with the actual, like, quest, too. Because all I do is quests. And sometimes I even forget about commissions. Because I don't have the time to remember them. Okay. You're not worried that I'm going to try to escape somehow? Is it either this protected or you really just don't care? Okay, I have the feeling we're gonna be, be meeting the Duke, and I like that his name is the Duke. That's pretty cool. But it's not gonna be cool when we see him because. What? I thought that Nouvellet said he had close ties with the Duke. Maybe he doesn't. He told me to be wary of him. Maybe because the Duke will know what I'm doing. Maybe because he works with Arlecchino. So, we're going even deeper now? Just how deep down are we? Let me 
Jen's outfit is so it's pretty, like though. It's a metaphor for your previous life. He's still with is me! It? Oh my god! I thought he left me! Our lives weren't that bad! It's 45 days in here! Why do you say our lives as if we're trapped in here forever? I'm sorry, you have to go through this itty bitty octo baby. I'm gonna... I don't want you to see the horrors of prison. Your innocent eyes can't see that. I'm gonna remove that too. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep that. But itty bitty octo baby, I actually need a name for her still. Um, can't think of a name right now. That's the Tibet language. Can't read that. Wish I could. But itty bitty octo baby should not be seeing all of this. I know she. I've been here before. I know she's um. She's kind of like asleep when she's by you in the air, but still, she can still like hear stuff. Probably, she's too innocent for that. See, I knew this is where a cutscene would be. It was just too long of a haul. What does that say? So on the wall? this is the actual entrance to the fortress of Merapi. Yeah, actually, I've been here a couple times huh. before. <laughs> it looks like there are other new arrivals too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh. Maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. Are you ever think about something sad? <laughs> You're probably the only one that doesn't fit in. Lumine, all Lumine has to do is think of her brother, which is so sad. But, um, well, yeah, she doesn't fit in either because she's a pixie, but. Why do they just let the prisoners stay around? Like, is there no Gardamax guarding? The exits? Like, I'm so confused by this. There could be, like, riots or something else, right? I don't know. Maybe they're not as violent criminals as I thought. Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. Act sad. If we're discovered, even Nevelette might not be able to rescue us. Oh, he's impatient. And we'd become criminals for real. Hey! Don't scare Paimon! Oh, Paimon's not ready for all this! Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of I ate a you cake. Can make, but you wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Uh, the Archon, I guess? Mm, Paimon doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk? Now. Yeah. Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so you just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so good luck. Good luck? Eh? What was that all about? Uh, wait a second. I thought usually so many I feel like he meant here. the Duke. Oh, wait. I feel like we're going to meet the Duke. No, they're not on to us. <laughs> Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Okay, it's cool. Oh, no need to be anxious. These guard mechs aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. My honor guard. Oh, yippee. They're going to be leading to my me to myself, aren't they? Yeah, so I feel like we're not supposed to be friends with this guy per se cuz Nebula did tell us to be careful of him. Was that just because he was observant? I don't know exactly. But he's like Nouvellet. His voice is cool. He looks cool. And he probably attacks cool too. I mean, I know he attacks with his fist, kind of like Hyjo, but still. When I heard that you were friends of He had scars! Oh my god! Next come and wait in formation. His eyes Wait, too! You know about our connection with Nervalet? He has the a cryo vision as well. Off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. Obviously. Even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. I mean, his voice is really cool though. I can't deny that. He's not cooler than Nouvellet. I don't think anyone will be will be cooler than Nouvellet, but he is 
getting up there. He is really cool. I feel like he might be one of our enemies. The, the Duke. Uh, greetings, Your Grace. Your Grace. L lovely weather today, isn't it? What weather? Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> How great it would have been if only the fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? He it has! So to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Okay, but he... I mean, I know this is just an act, but he does... His act does seem like a nice guy, though. But... He has, like, wolf things, too, around him, and he, like, looks like a wolf as well. He doesn't have a tail. He Obviously, he's not a wolf. He is human. These aren't actual ears. They just look like ears. But even still, he look. He just has the things of a wolf. And I feel like that's what they intended, because around the Fortress of Meripede, some doors have things that have wolves on them, too. Uh, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you. I Didn't just... you try to leave us? So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon and Actually, I knew who he was as soon as he was mentioned. Paimon, correct? So you, are you like Mr. the Deacon warden? Here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? I guess. It's okay. His attitude could use some work, though. He's taken great care of us. Splendid chap, really. I mean, he did talk to us, so it's honestly better than I expected. Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting, hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. Why is the instance of fate being pressured here. Uh, it's a little weird. What it's like being praised by your teacher, almost. <laughs> like this kind of relationship, like being praised by your teacher. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. You're welcome. If you need anything in the future, anything, please come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. Yes! Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. Your Grace, he has power too! It's so cool! Risley is gonna be a Please, playable character as well, obviously. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities welcome. of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. Okay, so he's either doing this because we're the legendary traveler in Paimon, or he's on to us because we're friends he's with going to Nouvellet. Personally give us a cure? Huh? Paimon can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. Let's just roll with it for now, but I hope he doesn't know too much already. Yeah, we, we gotta keep our guard up. No pun intended. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. All right, let's keep up with him. He is mysterious, but he's cool. The Fortress of Meripede. There's a the Duke's office, and then there was the food thing, the welfare meal. That's cool. And it's like, wait, is that a three-headed wolf? I don't know if that's just like a symbol or something, but it's like a three-headed wolf. That's cool. He's a wolf guy. <laughs> I gotta check my fortune. There's Please, no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Ah. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. What if we're too difficult to handle? Paimon, you're well, giving it away maybe easily. You'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? But before you go in swinging, please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. I. It's so cool how his.
his eyes are just like naturally droopy too. Like he's not glaring, but he, his eyes are just naturally like that. It's so cool. Now we've arrived at a very important place. The coupon cafeteria. Yeah. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations. Essential. So we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. Hmm. But that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost you reward coupons just to get a cup of water. How do you here. get reward For coupons? Fish like you who just arrived with nothing. I am not you have a to go finch. To work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we Ooh. got the free meal rule. Now everyone Yeah, I still find him suspicious day. though. Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. In the fortress of Maripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be I thought be you purchased. got a credit coupon from the sense, food. You could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But, but trade before, you said you needed a coupon people. to get the food. So How does that trade work? here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If so you get a credit coupon literally by working. The fortress would be up in arms. That would only make things more difficult for me. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal... Here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions. Are you shorter than this guy by a little bit? Your grace is reasoning. No, is correct, I don't think he is. What I said is also true. Oh, whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. Wolsey, be hard pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Right, I don't see your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all. Is his grace gonna mention his name at all? Oh, wait, no. We should have dropped our guard so quickly. Yeah, Paimon, don't! I think the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm. We should still try to verify the truth with our I own don't eyes. know. I well, let's continue find... This oh, he did mention his name, maybe. I don't... Did he mention his name? I don't think he mentioned his name. I want a coupon. Give me a coupon. A fortune slip. I don't know. You will for your meal. Thank you, Bran. You're very useful, Bran. I did go to this one cafe recently where... Oh, I forgot that you could get actual fr food from that. But I went to this one cafe... Look, it's not here, but elsewhere. That's depressing! Why did I get a fortune slip that said that? That's not a fortune slip. These are things I actually got from chess. But elsewhere, no, no luck. But I went to this one cafe recently where it was basically like, uh, there was this little robot that was just going around and giving people their food. Uh, it was like a little servant and it had little eyes and it was talking. It was so precious. Oh, I wish I had honestly taken a video of it because it was... Absolutely adorable. They took it away afterward, after like half an hour to an hour though, so by the time we left, it wasn't over there anymore, so. This place is known as the Pancration Ring. It's so sad! <laughs> but it was Sometimes so cute. We have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. Yeah, so, I feel like you have personal experience of that. Devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? I dominate everyone, but I'm gonna I be honest. I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you what? fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. Oh, you're so lame. In that case, I'll pass. Seems you know me too well. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval oh. for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancration ring? Oh. Oh, no, no. 
I mean, I'm interested in your backstory, I'm gonna be honest, but you're still suspicious. Are you working with Arlecchino? I want to know about guess. Child, but I if we ask about him, we'll seem too suspicious. Oh, you hear that? Paimon has a talent! So we can start a business here? <laughs> Paimon, that we're not staying! something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. It's suspicious that he's giving us a personal tour, though, because... he It's either because we are the legendary traveler, or... He's suspicious of us like I'm suspicious of him. I don't know. It's super weird. These do nothing. I can't collect that energy. And if I could, it would mean nothing. I could go over here. As normal. Now, in the video, Risley did say... I wonder what Risley does with the siblings, but Risley did say not to go near some pipes at like 3 a.m. or something like that. I don't know. It's super weird. Why would we not go near pipes? What has he done with the siblings? What is going on? I, I am so confused and yet I want to know more. This waypoint was not here before. I do not mean to be rhyming. But this was not here before. I would have collected if it was. Probably because I wasn't supposed to be here before, but whatever. Uh. Hey. Risley! Uh. What is this? I mean, that's a way to escape over there, as I learn. Other than from that one lady. There should honestly be Gardamax there too, at least. If that's like an exit. Uh, your, your, your Grace. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait. What time is it again? Oof, you don't even know what time it is. Okay, so that makes no sense though. How do we know these people's names? If we've never met them before. What time indeed? Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> My, my apologies. Your You're friends. suspicious, Risley. Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. Because he's literally the warden. <sighs> Sorry, forgive my manners. The poor guy looks like he's about to faint. These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. Why the do they Merapi, respect you so much? Criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production most zone or the Most of the time, the people don't res area. criminals don't respect zone? guards. Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Wardens. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Okay, so credit coupons is literally the money of this. You can earn credit coupons by doing stuff. And you can like, spend the credit coupons for, like, information around uh, other stuff. I don't know. This credit coupons is really confusing. What do you use the credit coupons specifically for other than information from the other inmates? Also, where is Child? Even though, you know, we can't ask where he is because... You'll be suspicious of us. Wow. Because Wait, I feel like you're working with our Latino. And you're just telling us to our faces that it's okay to skip work? The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, most people, many of the says. clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Hmm. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also so free a giant labor. machine factory. Well, There's not no free labor, I guess. There's no need to about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. Report for work? <laughs> work? You got it, boss. <laughs> Let's move on. The tour continues this Smile! <laughs> Linny! No, hold up. Hold up. Wait, why is Linny here? Linny. Uh, oh. Linny? Linny? No. Oh, uh, oh I thought you were going to walk off. There. 
I didn't expect to see you here, uh, Your Grace. Is this Glinny? <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. He oh, seems like an honest guy. Something the matter? Uh, Lenny, why are you here? We freed you! Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> why is Lenny here? Why is Lenny here? Is Lenny helping us somehow? Where is the <sighs> teleport waypoint? I don't see the waypoint. Oh, it's at the end of the hall, isn't it? Wind Strider. Time to go. Maybe. Oh yeah, start with the epic music. <laughs> oh yay, big boof buffy guys. That's fun. Is this where I work? Do you like send mail in those shoots and they go up to God knows where? How do I know your name? That doesn't make sense. Where's the waypoint? Hold on, Risley. Wait. Okay, so this level does have a waypoint, I believe. Where is it? Is it like lower? What the heck is that? I don't know where that is. I guess we'll find that later. Alright, I'm coming, Risley. Why would Lenny be helping us? Because we basically abandoned him after we helped him with the case because we were mad that he lied or at least didn't tell us about being part of the Fatui. I'm only getting more questions here. I understand the coupon thing, kind of, because it's basically like money in the prison. Oh, yippee. What is that? Is that a Melusine doll? Oh! Oh, it's the girl! From the video! I feel like she'd be a playable character, too, since she has a vision. Is she a Melusine? Your Grace, what are you doing in the infirmary at a time like infirmary? this? Infirmary? I thought this was... Oh, no. You didn't injure yourself, did you? Oh. Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siegeween. Siegeween, that's cute. In the video, um, it was adorable because she tried to feed him, or she tried to get him to take this, like, really colorful looking drink. The drink almost looked like a drink version of her, um, with, like, foam and stuff, but instead he took his coffee, I think, and she got really mad about that, and that was really cute. Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Sijuin here is the fortress of Meripede's head nurse. Cute! <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Okay, so all the Melusine have, like, different... Different color skin, I think? So... So, my theory must be correct, then. About Nuvolet being, like, an, a bigger version of a Melusine. Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patience, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join them. Important? Um, I ate a cake. Thank you. What your is that bag of yours? <gasps> oh my god, curled up table! That is so cute! Oh. So the tour part is over now? I guess that was it. I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. What about how to get As out? For your work, there'll be someone else to guide like you. Like in 45 the days. Hmm. Is there anything else? 
Wait, do you keep? Tours, so I why heard. Don't you just ask if you have any questions. Yeah, um, I have a lot of questions actually, but there's not a lot I can ask. Um, do you keep prisoners here if they want to stay for longer after their sentence? Because that's a little weird. Uh, well, this is your first time here, so I'm not sure what to ask. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. I have so you many questions. Try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. I got an unsatisfying steak. I mean, not a, like a suspicious steak, but it wasn't like sparkly. It's only sparkly if I make it. I don't even need the steak since I have eggs anyways. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna use it either way. Siegeween. Is that how you say her name? Siegeween and Risley. Cool. What do you think of the food? Does it meet your expectations? Were you sitting here in the video? Oh, it looks delicious! No one had made it sound like living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede wasn't very good. Who would have guessed that criminals get to eat tasty food like this every day? Paimon, we're not gonna stay here. That's... Oh, that's the main thing! It's free! That's true! Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people managed to draw? It said luck it wasn't on my side, though! Fortunate. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. Huh? I had a word with Walls. So <gasps> oh, thank you! Like everyone else. Oh, oh so it's random! Are... That's random? cool! Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. Oh, she is like so that. cute. This tasteful little game that Chef Walsy likes to play here in the cafeteria. Walsy. I'm a if criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure. <laughs> Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervy Let just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? I don't he's know. Healthy, no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuine. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh, she's shaking her little legs. That's so cute. Long since I've heard any news about him. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Is that because you're a Melisane and you're kind of related to it? Portraits of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Melody! Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we That's naturally. Overworld, he says, this as if this is hell. Monsieur Nervillet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. Yeah. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. But he told in me fact, to be suspicious of right you. Now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. Ooh. After this, you two will just be inmates here. Ah, so you're not treating us as inmates. You're treating us as Nivellet's friends. Oh, well, thanks either way, even though I'm still very, 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 very suspicious of you. I don't know about Siegeween, but I'm definitely suspicious of... Risley. You're very welcome. Well, your new life. I love her little bag. Awaits. Yippee! Now, how do I investigate, child? Are you finished eating? Then I recommend that you return to the dormitories and rest. You have work to do tomorrow. Do I Perhaps have you were to though? To ask for some special privileges. I don't want to work. You'll have to use credit coupons like everyone else. Oh. It's not as comfy here as you might imagine. I Wanna work? Let me. No! I'm pressing the wrong things. Let me talk to Sejuin. Now that I've gotten a good look at you two, I think you're very cute. You're adorable. All, heavy is the head that wears the cutesy crown. <laughs> oh my gosh! She's precious! Say, just take care of yourself and don't get hurt. Oh. Okay, so is she gonna be a healer then? Where is this? This is. Clearly on a lower layer, right? What layer did it say this was on? I'm 
Okay, what layer am I on? I'm on the administrative area. Production zone, lower level. Okay, so we might get there. Okay, just checking. I'm not going all the way back up that elevator. I wish there were stairs, because... It's surprising that I'm saying I wish there were stairs, because I believe the stairs are actually faster than the elevator. Personal theory. Return to the dormitories and talk... To Fielding? Hot? The Traveler and Climon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is, is what to do and stick? when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. No need to sound so pissed. I just got here. Oh, the creepy music. Oh, man, this is depressing. <sighs> Brother, help me! I got sent to jail! <sighs> My, um... The days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. Pyman, we're not gonna be in here forever. But, brother, help! Because, I don't know, we were sent to jail for eating cake and you're the abyss prince. You should be able to help us. But you're not! Uh, you're kind of a jerk! We saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellette. Probably. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake, but we're actually here to help Can't Nouvellet. eat your cake and have it too, I guess. Hmm. Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is Paimon overthinking? Oh, uh, it's probably possible. That's what I was thinking from the start. Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like, Hey, I have my eyes on you. I mean, I feel like we're still being watched, so... Maybe should talk a little quiet. But there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, how do we investigate child, though? Yeah, you're Do we right. just hear rumors like of guards talking that like, that Oh, I heard this say, one hydro so guy going missing. Uh, I don't know. And besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nervalette, right? But so why? We at least need to try. But Paimon hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. There was one other important thing. You mean... Winnie's presence here, right! Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too! Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Why was Lenny there? Unfortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Lenny as just another inmate. We worked so hard to help clear Lenny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and BAM! He's in prison anyway! If I had to guess, I'd say he's here for the same reason we are. That's what I was thinking. But why and how? <gasps> because he's working for our Lachino. But then that would mean Risley isn't working for our Lachino if he like takes our siblings or something. I'm so confused. My original thought process was just thrown out the window. Bye bye thought process. Oh my god, why? Oh right. What is going we on? Are from the house at the heart. They work for the knaves, so they could be here to investigate too. And look, there's something over there. A a light? Huh? <gasps> oh, Linny's card! Paimon didn't notice it earlier. Okay, so this is Linny's way of letting us know something, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? How did he know what cell block would be in then? Again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's really like he's greeting a buddy. I was about to say that. that he'd write something important. Oh my god, this chest is big. It's 
proves he's up to something here, too. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. Trepidation, you and Paimon spend your first night in the Fortress of Meripede. Can't imagine the bed's gonna be very comfy. No, it hey, looks like a awake. brick. You're burly. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. You told them everything? Don't tell them everything if they interrogate you, Paimon. Do not tell them anything. Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe? Don't do it! Hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get I don't want to work! Zone. I thought you said you didn't have to pay for your food! I don't get it! You set off for the fueling location of the projection zone. Man, I don't want to work! Why are you making me? Go to the production zone and talk to Grainville. What are these names? Who would name their child Grainville? Where's the production zone? It's clearly further down. How do we get down there? Okay, so this is Risley's office. I got that. I didn't know I could actually go in here. Heck yeah, I guess. Risley, are you gonna be in here? Oh. Speaking of stairs. Oh. Hey, didn't we see this in the trailer too? He's got the fancy music, but he's not in here, which is honestly more suspicious than him being in here in the first place. Sure, Risley's up to something, and I don't know if he's working for our Lachino or who he's working for. Now, how do I get to... I'm gonna follow the gold trail. How do I get to the production zone? Is this gonna lead me anywhere? Oh, here it is. I just had to go a bit farther. Okay. And here's probably where the teleport waypoint is. Gotcha. Ooh. Why is it musty and dusty? I feel like I could just break out of this. Why is my sword? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, if I was an actual inmate that wanted to fight, that mirror is creepy a reflection uh if i wanted to fight i could have fought in uh, like that arena area but even still i shouldn't be allowed to keep my sword this is creepy so this is a prison factory that's perfect i love this you're not Grainville. Where's Grainville? I don't care. I need to collect that. That is what I'm looking for. Now, I don't see any other teleport waypoints on the map for now. So we're going to ignore that. But we can go down further. Man, this is ominous. Now, we see Gardamax out in the wild, and I'm wondering if those Gardamax are... That's a needle. I'm wondering if those Gardamax are, like, um, hired by some type of noble or... I don't know. Hired by somebody. Linny? There's a computer over there. Is it gonna do anything? Oh, there's text on the wall. This probably leads to more text around the entire map. Um, because it does that for some reason. I don't feel like peace. It's not here. Your luck isn't here, but elsewhere. Try your luck nearby the cipher letters. What are the cipher letters? Are these the cipher letters? Uh, 
Okay, that- Whoa, wait a minute. That wasn't there before, was it? Can I see that with this? That's weird. Please? Oh, I can! Nice! Consider it a gift from fate. It's here. What's here? Oh, there's a glowy thingy. Is that a glowy thingy? Okay, that's really suspicious. I don't want it to go into a cutscene with the guy, so I'm gonna avoid him. Oh, I'm just barely gonna avoid him. Dang it. Okay, so what's the chance that I'm gonna be working right next to Linny? Woo! A reward on the road. <gasps> I got critical plans! Yeah! <laughs> Apparently I can collect them. I got three! A type of currency only used in the Fortress of Mary Peak. What do I need to use it for, though? That makes no sense. Hi. Ah, you must be the catch of the day. I looks am not like a fish. Getting assigned this space. Yep, that looks like a bat, you. not a nightstick. Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Okay. Listen sure. Listen carefully to my instructions. Attitude. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. That's working around these machines can be very dangerous. Why did you say that? Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Is that anyway, a threat? Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. I don't machines. like this guy. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Which is why I'm forced to work. I like how Paimon talks for me. Your job is to use the machine me. over there to process widgets. What are widgets? Watch carefully. And make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Is it like Here, the stabilizers? Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. Ooh. Okie dokie. For the modeling process, you must place the unprocessed parts on a machine, then interact them with the machine to start the challenge. Okay, so it does seem like the stabilizer. When some parts get stuck while rotating, you need to attack the rotating part to restore the machine's function. <laughs> that makes no sense, for sure. Uh, when the part's base glows, jump to complete the modeling process once. Okay, when it glows, you jump. Oh, that's because you jump on a pl pressure plate. Oh, that makes sense. When you finish, you must retrieve the successfully processed parts. Okay. Once the widget is hot enough to glow, jump to step on the pedal and... So if Oops. the machine gets jammed, you just need to attack it to fix that's the problem. cool. I really like this interaction with the quest. I really like this interaction with the quest, though. Come on. Okay, you got this. Great. Now we can report back to the foreman and give him the process widgets. If that's all I have to do all day, then heck yeah, give me this job. Huh. This one is tolerable. tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. So all right, I'll pass much. you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. Yay! Thank you for credit coupons. Is this all I have to do? Paimon's exhausted. You don't even do a thing! Paimon right? oh, actually one. walking and jumping so would be scary. weird. Paimon couldn't even speak. Ugh. Yeah, I've met people like that even in real life. Paimon's and wants to head straight to the coupon cafeteria. We still need to meet Lenny first, right? He's I thought that food was free, though. Too. He should be around here somewhere. I'm confused by that. Lenny, I guess. Oh, my God. I got stuck. I got 400. Woohoo. Special credit coupons you obtain when New Lent tasks you with investigating the Fortress of Meripate. Remember to use them for their de designated purpose. I'm not gonna use them for their designated purpose, thanks. Why do I only 
to get one Prima Gem from that. That's lame. Lenny? Mr. Magician? Uh, where are you? Oh, this better not be some disappearing act. How did we know he was going to be here, though? Doesn't seem to be around here. Let's try looking somewhere else. Okay, I do like on the map that it shows, like, the kind of dots, almost. Um... It's like dashes instead of the full circle because it shows that he's not on this layer specifically. I really like that. I mean, it takes up a crap ton of gigabytes. Um... On my PC, but it's worth it because it's honestly really cool. And they have upgraded the game a lot more. We'll give you guys some bubbles first. Maybe I should have gave given that other guy some bubbles. Wait, you're Grainville. Did he decide to slack off and sleep the daylight? Have some bubbles. They'll make you happy. <laughs> just the guy had some bubbles. It's just hilarious to see. Safety rules of the bubbles. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Lenny! Hello? Is Lena and Frimine here somehow? Or was Arlecchino... Hey! Over here! Oh, hi! Arlecchino and... Oh, or the Duke my... threatening you. How'd you appear out of nowhere like Why that? is he called the Duke instead of the Warden, oh, though? You scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here. And You're playing your own act, aren't you? For our Lachino. The enemy! Our Lachino's the enemy! Oh, but I guess no. we're kind of helping the enemy right now, which makes no sense. Child is gonna have to owe us after this. Simply can't stand to be away from me. That's so cute. He, it's literally like. Fremine is also here. Do you still remember him? Oh no, that's a good thing that they're here. Because they can be used against you. That's not a good thing. But it's literally like orange cat, black cat. The orange cat always stays around the black cat. And then, I don't know what Fremine is, but he's just like a kitten and it's so cute. Oh, you mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? Fremine is the cutest. How could you not remember him? Now hurry up and tell us. How did you end up as criminals this time? We fought so hard at court to prove you were innocent, and now it looks like our incredible court battle is for nothing! And you lied Sadly, to me, I'm still salty about that. Even if things can land you in prison these days. Even if. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. Yeah, I, I highly doubt that, actually. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. I doubt that. My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. Of course. If he commits a crime, <sighs> it's that guaranteed that you commit a crime, too. To that makes no sense. The of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. Because you need to investigate well, Child. Need to magic himself into prison. Huh. It's not the point, Lenny. The question is, what are you two really doing here? Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you. Yeah, you're not I doing it this I'd time. Tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. No more secrets. I love that though. That's so cute. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. Thank you. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with But can with we yours really talk here? We were instructed by the father okay, of the house, we can. Nave, to come here and conduct an investigation on child. <gasps> Told you so. See, time on just right. As for what we're investigating. Perhaps you haven't heard, but the Fortress of Meropede hides a secret. I'm not entirely Some surprised. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. 
Protect a secret. The house of the hearth has been investigating this for a very long time. The secret obviously Trying isn't child, but mysteries. I'm but curious. Recently, all of our informants, including the ones that have infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished Ooh. and have not been heard from since. Maybe you we did a magic trick a accidentally on them. I'm going to this lady. You have a specialty when it comes to disappearing things. Why is the house so interested in the secret? Father has somehow managed to confirm Why you Gosnos call her father? Fontaine's gnosis. Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? Because she's father probably threatening. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at okay, work. Okay, it's father and But we cult, trust her so. conclusions. Um. Yeah, it's a wise choice, I'm gonna be honest. But... I don't know. I'm really confused. So it's the Gnosis that they're protecting? Why isn't the Gnosis with Farina? Is it because Farina's being threatened? And why is Farina being threatened? If she was being threatened, wouldn't she just be asked, quote unquote asked, to give up the Gnosis in exchange for her life? Or her people's lives? I don't know. This is all really confusing. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. A single Gnosis. So it's all about the Gnosis again. Of course it is. Well, that's about As it for side. the Fatui Harbingers. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? Why do you say his Nina, name like that? Nina's been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh... Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? I guess. They've already said anything. It's an exchange of information. <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Of course. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining chip. A bargaining chip. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage So to is child the bargaining child chip too, again? Relations with Fontaine he was kinda like a bargaining Snaga chip in Leeway too! Oh man, it's man is just being used over and over again. Yeah, because we're probably the only ones that do. I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Team up? Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the fortress of Meripede. I mean, we are friends, I guess. As you know, it's not a bad idea, but it kind of is gnosis, because but our highest priority remains resolving the problem. I feel crisis. like the Duke could be watching us. us on that. The Duke it might be suspicious of us. Too many even Oh even five watching to forget that's so cute. Even I don't know. I feel like the Duke would be onto us if there were more people than one. More than two, mm, I guess. See, I told you. Is that so? Hmm. Orange cat, black cat. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Really? Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. No kidding. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Aww. Or, I should say. That's cute. We were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Aww. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? That's adorable. You guys want to team okay up with us. Up Says her that's like really quiet. If we're sharing all this info, fine. But I may reconsider if things get serious. <laughs> Very prudent of you. And consistent with your behavior prudent. since we first met. That's reasonable enough. And I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. Nice. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> All right then, there's no time to. I'd lose. say I'm semi an agreeable person. To share, so it's a 50-50 thing. Since Lynette and I arrived here, 
our investigation uncovered the fact that the fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the Forbidden Zone from the guards. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. A Forbidden Zone? <gasps> Could that be where the child disappeared to? You're right, we'll definitely keep that in suspicious. mind. Suspicious! Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. All of this is suspicious, and I feel like the Duke is at the center of it, and then he's going to threaten Lynette and Fremenet, anyway, and then it's all going to go to crap. Information useful at least. I can oh, see right this! At the time, you two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Your cards. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear! Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub. Okay, this is so suspicious. I feel like we're being watched with every move we make. I don't know. I just don't trust anyone here. I'm not even sure if I should trust Linny and Lynette completely. Dang it, I can't fly down completely. Oh, but I can teleport. And by there, I could fly down. I do like that I can do that. Because this allows me to save some time because I really don't like the elevators that much. They're pretty slow, they're clunky, and they honestly look like crap, even though they're technically supposed to. Why is steam only coming out of this one area specifically? It's like, <laughs> only single area specifically. That's super weird. Alright. So can I get multiple food thingies? I wanna see oh, if I have better luck. He wasn't kidding. Today's meal is nowhere near as good as last time. Oh, who knows how long it'll be until we're it's random. to get that super tasty. Why does again? that look like <laughs> like a bland version version of Ademptus's temptation? <laughs> That's sad. As long as you're here enough. Ah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time. Regular here. food, Let's heaven get out forbid. Of here as soon as possible. But life here doesn't seem all that bad. I mean, the work is really easy, but investigating it is a bit harder. You think so, mate? <laughs> uh oh. Because I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your. I life am up on not the a fish. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end. You won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. Have some advice for us, old timer? <laughs> I like your attitude. I don't like yours. I can uh, let you in on a little something. No thanks, you're Everyone's very suspicious. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble How do we yourself. know your name? Am I right? Yeah. But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. Okay, so you're is, one of the bad prisoners, I think. This place has a lot of hidden rules. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? I mean, they do have a lot of secrets, not I guess. Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. What's worse than losing your life? Really? Oh, now you're really scaring poor Let's Paimon. Don't get your Paimon! <laughs> have some advice for us all time? <laughs> of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Like oh, child? You mean that if there really are hidden rules, then child's disappearance might have something to of do with it? Of course he did something with the hidden rules. It's child. Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Man. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? If I give you I the coupons. But we don't have many credit coupons yet. I have 430. But depending on how economics works here, how much each meal costs, if each meal costs anything, I don't know. This is all really confusing, but 
If I give you a coupon, who's to say you're going to give me the information that I want? Yeah, yeah, I know. I can't trust Not you like blindly like that. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. How Pour much do you need? Fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. What'd be the point Are in you guys blind? You anything? Before you've gotten I am a walking traveler. Lies. I understand if you might think Paimon's a fish if she's like in the water or something, but and usually I'm around a the ragged fish. bone shop. Just ragged bone shop. Bye bye now. I don't like you. You're like a black market prisoner. He left. Just like that. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? See this could also be a ploy, too, because the Duke didn't say anything about, like, hidden rules. And I feel like if he has, like, eyes everywhere, he would know about these said hidden rules. Maybe. It's possible that someone would just disappear? Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? But... Like he said, we don't have any coupons, and we're still not familiar with this place. I have like 430. Oh, what do you mean I have none? <laughs> we were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. Wait, can I use the cameras to search for a message? After the meal, you get familiar with the fortress, but for long, it's nighttime. Okay, how do I investigate all this stuff? I'm wondering about these computers, actually. Uh. Is there any message that I can look over? I don't think there is. No. Alright, fine. Is it on this? Yes, it is. Nice. I like that I can just teleport. Makes things so much simpler. Although the dormitories could be a little bit closer. Making us jump and slap things with our sword all day. <laughs> Get rid of us! Oh, he was a doctor, that makes sense. I was like, he's a guard, he shouldn't be scared of this. Are these pipes bursting? Pipes are bursting. I don't know. Man, it doesn't look very comfy. Also, it doesn't look very secure. Like, there's no lock on the door or anything. This doesn't seem like much of a prison. It's like a knockoff well, version of a prison. That our ship gets set for every morning, and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Probably because they have nothing better oh, to do. And they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. Oh. They weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. Ah, Paimon's so tired. And we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. I thought you said we didn't have to work in the morning. Okay, we're here for 45 days. Are we really going to be here for 45 days? How do we make progress? We know that the Fortress of Meripede is hiding something. And, child, what is this? Is that his vision? Oh, that is his vision because his vision is sideways. What the... Child? Okay, so it is his vision. Why does it sound like a lullaby? I hear someone calling me. Don't follow it. Don't follow it, dude! Don't follow it! I know you see those lights. Don't knock out those lights. Those lights aren't even on. Oh, you're in somewhere different. That's the battle arena. I'm not entirely surprised you're there. But since you can't, like, kill them or badly injure them, yeah, you're probably just gonna leave. Oh, what the? Was 
Was he in the same cell we were? Is his vision somehow giving me memories of what he's doing? Or did that, like, actually give me memories? Or was that just, like, me personally? What's wrong? Oh, he did give me something! Did you dream about something last night? Dreamed a child, rather, in that dream, I was child! Yeah, because I remember his vision specifically, because for some reason, it's sideways. Inside of the vision holder, that should be a technically Snezhnaya, is pointy. But... I hear someone calling me. Was that... I don't think that was Paimon. Is that even possible? Unless... It wasn't an ordinary dream? Are we sleeping in the same cell that he was? Oh, <gasps> child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? I mean, where else would I put it? vision connected child's consciousness to yours! But how, since he didn't have his vision by when the time that he was here? Maybe I could- well, I mean, it is called a vision! To be fair. Maybe I can use his vision to see everything he's experienced from his perspective. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here! It's so still dull, though. Do you know where Child went? I mean, I or he was looking at the lights, and then the battle arena, and then the cafe. I didn't see anything useful. Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important That's now suspicious. is that it's the start of another new day of prisoners. Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. Why do you sound so happy What's about that? How much do the credit coupons cost for, like, information and stuff? Let's go to the production zone. Let's go. It's time to start working. If that guard Fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have enough to pay for it. Even still, even though I have like 430 or something. 440, I don't know. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. Uh, yeah, I don't need you Good, to explain you the go. job. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Is it only one widget? Can I do like multiple at a time so I don't have to do it the other days? This makes no sense. Okay, let me see what the- ooh. Clue book for Fortress of Marathon! That's so cool that I get the clue books for each- Each act, basically. I love this. No evidence or clues. And his vision is still normal. Okay. Stage objectives. Complete the following objective- Objectives during your time in the Fortress of Mirror Peach to advance the story. Go to the production zone in the morning, gather information, complete the quest stage objectives, and certain quests to advance the story. This may also be viewed from the quest menu. Okay, this is really cool though. I really like that. Now, what does the unprocessed widget look like? Okay, so it looks like this. Did it say anything? A widget that has neither been processed nor forged. Not yet. Okay, but it's not like going super fast either. And I just have to complete it three times, which is, I have to jump three times. What if I do the wrong thing? out of time what if I walk away no now I'm curious I don't know if there's gonna be like an achievement or what oh the time did run out was that just because I walked too far I 
have Goba. It does nothing. Wait, he taps it. No! I forgot that that was considered an attack. Oops. Okay, so I do have to do the jump thing within a limited time. Did not know that that was an elemental attack, though. That the elemental attack would be... Oops. Uh, would be useful with that. Okay, so it got down to like 40 seconds last time. Maybe that was just because I walked too far. I'm honestly curious. Is he gonna yell at me for not doing my work? What? Oh, that's like the Numeno Uesha uh. thing, isn't it? They use that to create the different bots. Gardamax. You look like sightseers, even though I believe they're prisoners. No, they don't look like prisoners. You gonna yell at me, or is it just gonna say challenge failed? Lame! Fine. Oops. Thought that was red. Makes no sense why you actually have to punch it for it to actually work, but sure. What does that look like? Does it look any different? It's got like less silver on it. Okay, that's so weird. Grainville or whatever your name was. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really getting I don't of think it you now. did anything though. See, did that um message thing like change color after I read it, or is that just because of the angle that I'm at? I'm confused by that. All you do is flutter around telling me what to do. Hey there, fellow shift mates. Hi. I saw you finished your work, so I, I thought like I'd come the over and say hi. Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, cool, isn't it? Is this just like my supervisor? Is <laughs> he right. like the total the supervisor? You have a beard. Days, so That's new. The new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. I've been working here for almost You look like years. a farmer. Even the foreman Grainville always calls me chief. Chief? Wow, you've been working here a long time, chief. In other words, you haven't made a shit in for 15 years. What did you do to serve 15 years here? Either that or you just decided to stay here, which doesn't make sense. Why would you stay here? <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. Why are you here? here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. I should be threatened of you guys. This isn't a normal prison. Does Genshin Impact know how prison prisons work? I think I've got it. I think I've got the work more or less down pat. We just haven't quite learned all the rules. <laughs> you know what I mean by that. About the rules? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules. Okay, so huh? you do know it Who'd too. It the hidden rules. That's what they're called, right? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I could tell you a little. I mean, you gave me your nickname, so I'm gonna call you, you your nickname. Like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Why? Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? He would have been well, put in danger. Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. Break one? But once you do break one, bad things happen. Break one of the thingies that I'm supposed to be fixing? If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Oh, I want to see what that something bad is! Like what? Okay, so this is the second day. Let's... I want to see! If I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Now would I? Okay, but is it going to force me to keep teleporting and keep running all around Even just to keep doing this? working three days like that? There's actually a legend about this rule. Are they say like that the... there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job. 
and most other workers so you work two days you take the day off you work two days you take the day off is that how that works are the guards like not suspicious guards and supervisors like not suspicious that prisoners are working two days taking the day off working two days taking the day off that makes no sense one time he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could then during lunch on the third day <gasps> was that child he disappeared into thin air. That was child! If he'd evaporated. I need to Later, see that. Some people went and asked some of his past friends about him. What did he, he look said, like? Never heard of the guy. What did he look like? What the? How could that happen? Did you ever see him? Unfortunately, we were assigned different productions. No! Zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Wait. Are you thinking that it was... Thank you for the information. We'll give it a try. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Paimon. Um, you... Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Actually, I'm investigating this very thing, it, so I kind of have yourself. to, whether I want it to or I not. Regret ever telling you. And I do want to. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. No uh, risk, no reward. All right, if you insist. Finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. I heard a chest. Let me get another coupon! <gasps> Ooh! For use during investigation? Ooh, that was disgusting! Oh, Paima misses your cooking now. Aww. What would you like to do this afternoon? Production zone? Or is it like three days in a row or did he just say three times in a row? Production zone. Let's go! Credit coupons, here we come! I don't know. Or do I get to choose all three? Because I feel like the person that disappeared was child. Because the other guy I didn't see. Look who decided to show up. Just Get randomly disappeared from time hard work. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. So if I break this widget, I'm in danger, or if I work for three days, I'm in danger. That makes no sense. Yeah, because this widget is, like, less bright, and it's got, like, silver and stuff on it. Wait, you just want me to brush off the silver or something? This makes no sense. Like, lore speaking. I mean, it's easy, sure. And it's honestly kind of fun. If I had this as a job, man, would that be easy. If only I had this as a job. Sure, it would be a little tricky to have to keep jumping and, um, jumping and hitting the thing. Does it, like, actually change? Oops. I don't think it actually changes when it's on that belt thingy. Let me have a look. Hmm, not bad. Right, here's your credit Yeah! Give me my credit coupons! Does that mean I get 400 credit coupons per workday? Seems we hmm. had a productive day. Hope we can make even more... more progress tomorrow. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna disappear tomorrow. Okay, so I can work during the morning and I can work during the afternoon. That makes sense. Maybe we can make some progress Whoa. for our investigation today. No. What do you have planned for us? Work. While working the morning shift, apply continuous working shifts with Brainville. That's what I was planning to do anyways. Well, Pina really hopes the foreman will be in a better mood today. I highly doubt that. He seems like a stone stern dude. Right, Grainville. I mean, to show I'd be grumpy. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. If possible, I'd like to work for three continuous working days. I thought this was the third day. Whatever. Um. Man, I don't know about this. I don't know, just thinking to myself, if I was if I was named Grainville by my parents, I'd honestly be in a crabby mood forever too. Uh oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? 
You need coupons that badly? Apparently? Sh sure. Let's <laughs> sure. We really want to test our limits. To investigate the hidden rules, you and Pam must start working despite lack of clarity. Yeah, you just have to keep jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. Great. We did well today. Let's keep it up. <gasps> I like that Lumi does that little cheer thing. That's so cute. Ooh, he likes us. Okay, so we go get food, and then we work, we go get food, and then we do the oh, thing. Paimon's had it. Who knew that processing these widgets would be so tiring? Okay, so lore speaking, I assume it's more than just one. Work, eat, work, sleep. Work, eat, work, sleep. For three days. Right? Oh, that's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Oh, okay, yeah, I understand if it was Child, the one that disappeared from working continuously because he is energetic. We keep getting even slower. Oh, poor Paimon. Don't shake your head! Finish your work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. This is my idea, dude. Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. We have to test Paimon's a theory. A game theory. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working nonstop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime. You realizing that now? Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? Probably nothing. But it doesn't seem like anything. Okay, so did that. he disappear during the lunch? Time? The cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Don't get your hopes up. Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Don't get your but hopes up, but don't get your hopes down. Are we gonna have bad luck with the fortune? Paimon I mean, we had today. bad luck with the Maybe first we'll fortune. The super lucky meal. I highly doubt that. What? What is that? What even is that? That looks like purple mushrooms and snake skin. Well, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same! What even is it's it? So Ooh. But it looks and feels so bizarre! What kind of chef would make food like this? There's something wrong with this meat. What do you think is going on? That's is definitely this the not wrong. That Rowan was talking about. Someone met missing before, and now our meals have changed to this strange meat. Do we continue working and see what happens next? No, stop right there, Pina. Gets what you mean. Just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Wolsey over there? Wolsey, what happened to our food? food right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done. Wolsey, are you being suspicious? Hey, Wolsey, have a moment. Hmm. <laughs> What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, Our meat is purple! Meat. Look, does it seem is this not suspicious to you? to you? To me? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. It's totally purple! Normal. You better hurry up and shout out. That's not fine! How could this be fun? Hey, don't leave! You barely even looked at it! Suspicious! Is that like uh, a food drop that was right there? Do now? Well, Why do they give us a deficit temptation? Is he trying to hide something? Plot thickens. Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paimon was positively famished a minute ago, but... Can't do... Ooh. Did Paimon say something important? I gotta see that. Now she just lost her appetite. Strange welfare meal received after violating the hidden rules of the production zone. I'm gonna violate all the rules. It's like a lime block of cheese. Meat that looks like a tongue almost. A tongue of like those creatures in Enkanamiya. Even a broken spoon and silverware. And then a single Matsutake. Why, why do Matsutakes have like well, that X on top of them? Work, I guess? Can I oh, investigate the clues we discovered. Since we have time now, let's focus on investigating. 
studying some more. Okay. Not that I have a choice. Oh. Walk around and look for more clues. I'm not gonna walk, I'm gonna run, dude. <laughs> Can I buy from you yet? Are you oh, expensive? He hello. You two are the ones who were with his grace. Are you not you the one that to told us about the rules? Uh, sorry. I couldn't help but think of his grace once I saw you and Oh I... no. <laughs> Wait, you were the guy that couldn't breathe. You s are you that scared of him? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. Not it makes really. Me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait. That's seriously? sad. Well, I'm always indecisive and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. That's so sad. He has so much anxiety. I mean, I know what the anxiety is like, but that's still sad. You want to you want to take his place? What? P please don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Because of the way you just side-eyed that box. I don't know, dude. You seem suspicious. Can I go up here? Well, this one is up here. Okay, this one is on the level of the dormitories. Okay. That I can do. Nope, not the dormitories. Production zone. I was like, wait a minute. Those are two different teleport waypoints. That's a little suspicious. Alright, I guess I need to talk with you. Are you the guy that told us about the... No, you were the guy that originally let us in. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. So now you remember our names. All because we gave you high praise. Um, yeah, this is definitely a Numena Oasia thing. But how do they, like, control that? Is the Numena and Oasia thing, like, a mechanical thing? I originally thought it was, like, an elemental thing. I don't know. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. You're lucky I'm nice. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. I can't do that! Huh? All I did was say a few no, extra words! They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you... I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. True, but I honestly expected I that. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of his grace. I insist I that you take no for an answer. keep them. <laughs> because... I'm not even going to stay here that long. What happens to my coupons after I leave? Alright, well, he is really thankful. 200 coupons... Ooh, god dang. It's like 3,000. Oh, I thought I thought had 3,100. Oh, no, that would be 2,900. Right. I don't know why I thought 3,000. Um. 3,100. What the heck? Is there still more? Where? How? Do I, I go up. There's no waypoint up there. How do I get there? Can I actually climb on these walls? Oh, I can. I'm not gonna though because I don't think I can with like the block thing. You want me to investigate? Oh, hi with the sea queen, right? Is that what your name? Sijuin? Yeah, Sijuin! I'm in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Someone get injured here? Hello, traveler. Hi, Mon. Or are you just watching? Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy Your job is basically just to sit. That's lesson. adorable. Enjoy? You are adorable. Oh, what's there to enjoy here? Hard-working people? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just Yeah, so you are, Melissa. That's adorable. To watch your expressions while you work. <laughs> that's a little creepy, but that's cute are you too. Pets or people? Do you also happen to be a, a veterinarian as well as a head nurse? Oh, I 
can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, I want to know more about the melon seed. I don't know a lot about and them. We see the world very differently from humans. It's very Broken easy for me to observe heart. everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh, that does sound useful for That's me. That's adorable. <sighs> yes, running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain. I mean, less work for you to do, but you have Take nothing to do almost. Make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. As we work for three days nonstop and uh, do not take care of ourselves. <laughs> the supervisor is Siegeween. We often see Miss Siegeween observing the prisoners at work near the production zone. It seems like she can perceive the general state of a person's health just by looking at them. Can you tell us about child? Oh, wait, but that would make us seem suspicious, too, because she's, like, one of the staff members, and uh, that's really cool. One out of three. Oh, one out of three evidences. That makes sense. Right here. Yeah, because that would make us seem suspicious if we asked about child. That'd basically just be, like, asking the Duke about child, and then he'd be on to us. Because he's a really suspicious guy. I don't know. I don't trust the Duke. As cool as he is. Never gonna be as cool as Nublat, but still. Hi, Rowan. Were you the guy? Huh? Rowan? Uh, oh, no, you were you Chief. Here, Chief. Oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major. I mm. think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Suspicious. Huh. Someone as experienced as the chief would still get hurt on the team. Yeah, because I don't think he did get hurt. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Did you actually get hurt? Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? She. One time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? No, we literally saw where she was. Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch, and nobody knows where Siegeween gets off to. She was in the production zone, though. So this isn't just a coincidence. Huh. That's actually really Something's strange. going on. She means always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly the go? The production zone. Uh, forget it. Maybe just I ironic timing? Like this on my own anyway. A chief no trouble her. just so happened to be up here when she was down there? Or up and down. I don't know. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch, but what could Sejuin be doing during that time? Why do I have to get the, like, botched looking thing? That'd make. I don't like that. Uh, Alright. Uh, what about you, uh, Linny? Lynette. Blah, blah, blah. I almost called you Linny. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn rewards. Where is Lenny actually? Time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Actually, that was part of Maybe my investigation. More coupons? But no one wants to work all the time. Debatable. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking no. off and you happened to catch me. How's Lenny? Where is he? My Where's Frimine actually? Anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget. Do people get, like, you. none of their possessions huh? taken from them? Because... Coupons. Why are you giving us these? Makes no sense. Because she can't use them because she's an know. NPC? Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are... How long have you been here? Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! That's adorable. Where's Fremine? Uh, Where's Lenny? I'm confused! Wait, well, we got more coupons. Who are you? Lutz. I like the name Lutz. You're here to send her a letter? If, if so, do you mind that I help 
you polish it a little. A letter? We can deliver letters to almost anyone in Fontaine as long as you have the coupons for it to pay for postage. Though, we're practically doing it as charity if I do say so myself. So, would you like to send a letter? If so, please pay postage first. And also, no queue jumping. Okay, who's in the queue? I don't see a queue. But... Um... Yeah, those coupons basically have no use to the staff. I'm gonna be honest. If you are the staff. I can write to anyone? Let me write to either! <laughs> well, we usually recommend writing to relatives or friends. Exactly, I wanna write to Aether! He's my brother! Uh, joint... Don't know what that is, people like that. And though we're operating for the public benefit, we have limited manpower. What is it they say? Resources are not allocated at random. Got it. Oh, don't mention it. Guess we're not sending a letter. Fine. Ooh, there is that. I'll collect that, actually. Is this an answer from this world? Apparently, and I love how excited she sounds with that. Why is, like, all of this hey, dripping? Look, this seems faulty. Here. Hmm, looks like a research notebook. Is, well, I guess it's mine now. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of sea dreams? Suspicious guy? Do you mean chief? He must have dropped this. Let's find my reader real quick. The Melusian perceived the world very differently from humans. Do you mean there chief? Significant deviations. As a result, I mean, chief did seem suspicious. Aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. Ah. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Wait a minute. Ooh. This all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. She's thanking for the intel. But won't he object just looking through his notes? Because this is like a personal diary almost. Is this Chief's though? And as for the notebook, let's take it. Yeah, it's mine now. Find you keep. Research about the characteristics of Melusines. The research notes said the, the Melusine race perceives di the world differently from humans. As a result, the Melusines also have developed a sense of aesthetics that appears rather strange and alien to humans. Okay. I mean, Nubilette did seem really pretty, so that makes sense. What's over here? More beds. Was Chief investigating them then? I'm confused by that. Was Chief investigating, um... Who was it? Sijuin. That's her name. Sijuin is really cute. Cause she's like different from other mellow scenes. And I don't know, this really doesn't seem like a prison. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't even seem like a jail. Oh, you wanna there is a difference. I I guess. Okay. Not that I have much of choice. We'll it is something suspicious gonna happen tomorrow if we work so more? We're working a few days straight. We got some strange meat in our lunch. But we didn't disappear. What was that all about? How did the person disappear? Hmm. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? We got something, but it's not related to child. It looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. I'm confused. We'll, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. All right. Was that like my sixth day here or something? Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Wait, that's three hundred. Yeah. It still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do I need those for, we though? Have plans for us. I've literally never used those before. Choose to go uh, to the pancreation ring in the afternoon and gather information. Right, I forgot about that actually. Guess I'm gonna spend some coupons to skip work. I don't think there are any more clues to be found here. Perhaps we should w work at the production zone. Uh. 
Oh, dang it. I can't even do that. More often, the seafood is never anything unexpected. So does that mean so after the food? To get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Probably not good, I'm gonna be honest. Let's see if there is really any easy work. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. Didn't even let me skip work, okay. Or did it? Planet Granville, same process and task. No, it didn't. That makes no sense! Garbage. Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, I'm on Mrs. Year cooking now. Did she say the same thing before? I feel like what she said the same thing before. Are we eating samsara? We're in samsara. Sure. If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the pancreation ring. What did the food look like? Was it still purple? Grab yourself a welfare meal. No thanks, that doesn't really look like a welfare meal. That looks like a meal that's trying to kill me. And I feel like that's what he's intending, I'm gonna be honest. Do we get to fight anyone here, or do we just get to observe? Because I, I kind of want to fight some people. I mean, yeah, we can't seriously injure them, or, like... Um... Do we go up? Oh no, we go down. Huh. Yeah, we can't seriously injure people or obviously kill people. But it's not like we would do that. We'd probably stop with like a cutscene or something before that. Now, Child was here as well. And I don't know if that was like us as him or if this was like his memory. This does nothing! That is... <laughs> that other one was really delayed. Oops, do not mean to climb. Hey, boss man, what you got for me? Hollands. Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. Man! I don't make the rules, mind you, but... I was given very specific instructions. Specific instructions Even because I'm the legendary lives, traveler. I hope you can understand. <laughs> yeah, but I guess. Here, but it's not like I would strength, kill them. And you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? I could still show off my strength even though I can't and fight anyone? If we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Most likely. Of course. Yep. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. All right. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. Is this like the mini game with the, the targets in front work of you will pop up one it? after another? Whack a mole. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. Ah. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, order whack a mole. You'll win credit coupons. But if I lose, the I'll lose the order, coupons. You'll lose. Game over. The game that costs three hundred credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Yes. Thanks for your patronage, mate. Mate. Now, let the game begin. You don't even sound British. Why did you say mate? The targets... Is it timed? I hope it's not timed. The targets will come up in order... When the targeting light turns blue, you must attack the targets in the order in which they came up. Successfully following the, this aura four times will complete the challenge. Conversely, attacking in the wrong order... A certain number of times will cause you to fail. Manually interrupting the challenge or leaving the challenge area will also cause you to fail. Dang it. I wanted to try that. Fine. These look very small. Okay, do your best to hit the targets, just like Colin said. No! Lumin, please, I swear to God. Luckily, I can't hit ones that are already down. Because I almost hit that other one. Ooh, wait. Was that right? I was right. Oh, okay. Uh, 
that's really not that hard. Okay. So you just have to watch it, basically. Your strength I did it! Underestimated. How many now I get coupons did I get? Participating in any official I literally didn't fight. Nobody I just played whack-a-mole kind of timed. Of Can't know for sure if you don't let me have a go. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? I Just don't like gambling. Ruzumon. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support I comes I don't out on like top. gambling. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? Sometimes it's about luck. That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. Uh-huh. Man, the legendary traveler picking a winner. The winner would feel honored, I'm gonna be honest. Coupons, we can probably bet at random until we figure everything out. I don't like gambling though. Huh? Uh well, how should I put it? I can't bet at random. It's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. I don't huh? know them! We shouldn't get too carried away. Can it's I like fun. watch a battle and then like Vote who I think's gonna win. I don't like gambling. I don't like gambling in real life. Gambling is the worst. Don't do it. Um. There's some sort of rule here. What? I, oh, <gasps> there is. Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules. Yeah. You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive too. The hidden rules. That's what they call it, right? This is literally the same answer as with Chief. Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. I don't like Besides, gambling. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Yeah, you're going to lose uh, me. I'm going to disappear. Is that serious? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both... Something bad will happen the next morning. Okay, so three so things, three bad, bad things happen to you, and then you disappear. Is that right? Actually, did that? What if they'd be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None yep. of his opponents even stood a chance against him. Okay, so he However, he went that, against the, the three rules. There's the cafe here, and then he there's going to be someplace else. Showed up to the fight. He did all of that. He that, disappears. He was never seen again. Was Some that because he, he was trying to investigate was the, care of the gnosis the within the... Gnosis, quote unquote, secret honor within the prison of Merapi? Supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. Well, too bad. So you mean it's like a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? I literally wasn't listening. What are you talking about? Have you seen what the guy disappearing looks like? No. He was no! Wearing a mask. Like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. He did have a mask. I don't even know anything about his past. Did you know Kevin, what color the mask is? Boxer was... What was the color of the mask? Was it red? Or was it like a cyclops? Tell me. Huh? We will? Yeah. We ought to investigate serious, his appearance. Are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you yet. Yeah, I appreciate that, but... Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. It's still gonna happen. It sounds like a good lead to me. We're gonna say the exact same thing as before. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? That's adorable. Betting on both I mean, I kind of protected you from... 3,000 coupons! <laughs> If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Oh my god. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. What? You leave the pancreation ring and return to the dormitories. Why is this dormitories as if it's not prison? Oh, I knew early today that Pymont's been nodding off all afternoon. 
good thing it's finally time for bed. Why do you sound like a sheep there? Okay, so it's just gonna keep doing the same thing. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels so do we vote for yesterday. The what do you have planned for us? Do we vote for two people the same time? Or do we vote for two people three times and then the bad thing happens to us? Because we got bad food. Paimon was quote unquote protected from that. Okay. Okay, but it seemed like my other coupons were... The coupons that I got from the chest were different from the coupons that I got from this. They seem separate almost. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, you're really gonna say the same thing. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. And yet you're still gonna do it. See if there's really any easy work. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. You apply some work, getting coupons without the break. Finish your morning and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Okay. So I have a lot of coupons. What is this garbage? Ooh. That's gonna be the same. What would you like to do this? What I would like to do is go to the pancreation ring. Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there. Yeah. Child, what did you do? Was this just so you can investigate the gnosis? Mm -hmm. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better but be then why would he try to Another escape the jail? Start. Who are the boxers in the next round? What are their we names? We have a reigning champ, Le Grafler, versus Grafler. a contender from the eastern prison block, Demon Horde. I'm gonna vote are both. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though the grappler is the crowd favorite, yeah, that's what I was Demon thinking. It's a first class dark horse with incredible potential. Okay, but I'm gonna vote both. Can I vote both? I'm gonna vote both. I recommend that you pick both fighters. Huh? For both fighters? Yeah. Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think. Oh, you know. <gasps> okay, so everybody knows yeah, about the rules, basically. The rules, no. Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. Yeah. You see. Why do you sound like oh, Kronk no from no Kronk's new groove? Uh, we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. If, if you don't know that, right, if you don't know Kronk from Kronk's new groove, sure. I'm not going to explain Remember, it. No refunds Best character. Tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut and up. And I mean, kind of an Amber's new groove too, I think. I don't know. Just shut up and take our coupons. You leave and return to the dormitories. Are we gonna do the same thing over and over and over again until something Looks happens like to us? Looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Are they gonna say the same thing over and over and over again? If so, I'm just gonna keep skipping it. Well, that's different. Oh, that's different. Why are you- A traveler. Bye, Mon. Package here for you. Package. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm buying I'm not anything. a delivery man, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look at a, like a delivery man. I'm gonna be honest. A package for us? Did you buy something, traveler? Is it from New Hallet? Uh, not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? <gasps> Unless this is the mysterious thing. All right. Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxes. Okay, so thank God I don't well, need nine thousand. Thing that Colin said would happen. Stuff. Uh, Open it. It's gonna be a bomb. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Yeah, what if it's a bomb and I explode, wait, Paimon? Wait, wait, Paimon's still here. Don't open it. Ah! <laughs> I love her fear. There's something a little odd inside. Huh? What is it? Are you okay? I <laughs> like how she still asks if I'm Let's okay. Let's and take a peek too. Red juice? Don't tell me that's blood. Oh, it's just a small bottle, but the color of the liquid inside looks It doesn't look like Fanta. Looks 
Well, yeah. it looks like the shape of Fanta, Almost but it doesn't like... look like that color of Fanta. Boxer went missing, and the liquid in the bottle obviously looks like blood. Well, pour a little bit out. If the consistency is a little thicker than water, then it's bound to be blood. All right, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. No. <laughs> Taste. Ew. Give it a sniff. Ooh, no way. Get the <laughs> I love that smile. I love their relationship so much. This place is chock full of strange happenings after all. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just Does... trust Paimon in this one, okay? Ricely know what's going on? The strange blood-colored fluid. Let me smell it! I want to know if it's blood, because I honestly don't think it would be blood. Even though there's, no like, no bubbles here. I don't know. Pour a little bit out, because... Check the consistency of it! Strange package received the next day after violating the hidden rules of the concretion ring. Alright. For us. What do we have planned? Investigate the clues you discovered. Okay. Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. How many coupons do we have? I think we. Wait, did we just spend all the coupons we had? I thought we just spent all the coupons we had. No, I'm going to end the stream here and we'll pick this back up. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, we are going to pick this back up next time where we are going to investigate all of this strange happenings in everything. Like, what happened to Child? What, I feel like he was in the same room that we were and then he just disappeared. Did he mean to disappear by, like, accident or did he do it on purpose? I don't know. I have... So many unanswered questions. And how does Arlecchino know about the Gnosis? Is the Gnosis, like, actually inside of uh, the Fortress of Meripede? I don't know. Uh, this is all uh, extremely suspicious. So we're going to investigate this next time. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, or wherever you're in this crazy world. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye! Actually, wait a minute. Um, I don't think I will be streaming Thursday because I am busy that day. So we are going to pick this stream back up on Friday, actually. Completely forgot about that, but I'll mention it in a YouTube post if this is missed. So, bye. See you guys uh, Friday, I guess.